What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're gonna to be checking out the Kurt Tri-Ball and Coupler Lock. It comes with a hitch pin lock as well for your ball mount, so that way you can lock up the ball mount side and the trailer side. Let's check it out. Looking at the Tri-Ball Coupler Lock first, you see you have three different sizes that you can go with. We have the two inch ball right now and a two inch coupler, so it fills up that space in there so you can't get anything in there, the wedge, or even just bring up and hook up a ball to a trailer that's been just sitting around. The other thing that helps you out is with this steel cable, you have the coupler lock that goes through the coupler, so I can't pull up on the latch to disengage it to get this out of the way. So that just further protects it with this lock on the side so that nobody can mess with this when you're not around. We're gonna look at the barrel lock. It's got a cover on it that slides right down and out of place. I like that it's not just attached by a rubber ring, so you're not gonna be able to rip it off as easily. It slides down and back up with no problems. So with that exposed, we can take the key Turn it, remove the barrel from the coupler. I'm gonna slide this out the other side, and now we can operate the latch. You can remove the ball. Now you can see the other two sizes a little bit easier. We have the one and seven eighths here, and two and five sixteenths, and then back to the two inch is what we're used in this coupler. These are gonna be a glass filled polymer, so it is heavy duty if I knock it against the trailer. You know, it's not just hollow plastic. It's gonna hold up if I was to drop it on the concrete. I don't have to worry about it shattering or breaking. I also like that the steel cable runs through it all and keeps it all connected so I don't accidentally lose one piece and then can't use it. Also comes with a locking hitch pin. So we're gonna run that through the hole on this side of the hitch and our ball mount and attach the barrel lock on the other side. Operates really easily. You don't even have to have the key in there, something I wanted to point out. And it's gonna be the same thing with the coupler lock is if I go to unlock this, something I like is that the key doesn't have to be in position. Sometimes the lock, you gotta keep the key in the whole time. Completely remove the key so that's in your pocket or something. This is ready to go. You just push it into place and it locks. I really like that you don't have to turn that and lock it into place. A few more things about the hitch pin lock. It's gonna be five and a half inches length in total. It's gonna have a span that fits one to three inches. And then also it's got a quarter of an inch diameter of the pin here. We're gonna have a chrome finish on there that's gonna be durable, so you don't have to worry about leaving it out in the elements. It's not gonna bother it, and that's gonna be the same thing with the coupler lock too. You're also gonna get two keys that work with both of them, so it's key to like, so you can just throw one of these on your key ring and then have the other one as a spare. I really like this combo kit. It's nice to have that security on the ball mount on the vehicle side and on the trailer side, so wherever you go to park it and leave it, you can set this up and know that nobody's gonna mess with this when you're not around. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out and hope this helped.